So in terms of getting the right time right, making sure the time is right, we have this idea of, well, okay, let's bring that technology into our network. Let's build our own GPS simulator, but we'll give it a, re a reliable time base that we control, and then we can compare GPS from the sky with it, or we can compare Galileo with it. So it gives us some idea. So it's this idea of a GPS firewall. So really, from that terminology of using the physical wall, a physical barrier to protect yourself from fire or from network attacks, um, build a GPS firewall. So there are products that exist, products that we resell. Uh, you won't be surprised to learn. Um, and we can use our generated signal as effectively a holdover signal. So if we can couple this, our own GPS simulator with a cesium that we know has been disciplined and controlled, if there is a problem with GPS, if it's jammed or if it's spoofed, or if it goes wrong by itself, which it does sometimes, then we can stop using that signal and we can use our own signal. So we can keep our critical infrastructure going um, using this GPS firewall and not just GPS. You know, GNSS as well. So we can monitor Galileo. We can simulate those other constellations as well. So as I said, multi-constellation receivers go some way to being able to check the different constellations. Um, again, those, those common sense ideas from telecom network engineering of redundancy and having a backup, that goes some way to protect as well. So we use our backup sources from time and frequency, PTP and Sinky. That basic function of an SSU, the SSUs that Joe re really hates, going right back to the first SSUs that were developed, they always had this idea of qualifying an input. So against their own reference oscillator, they'll measure an input signal, and if, it's, if the frequency is way out, then it won't be considered as a reference, and it's that sort of idea as well. And we're now adding to that G GNSS signal hardening uh, becomes part of our overall defense against all these bad guys who are continually trying to attack our network. So the GNSS firewall, the blue sky we've talked about already, has different modes of operation. It has a validated output, so it continually monitors the signal from the sky. If it thinks the signal from the sky is okay, it lets your receiver see the signal from the sky. If it thinks there's a problem with it, then it will turn that signal off. Uh, and not let you follow it. Um, also has a hardened output. So this is the self-generated output. This is the GPS simulated signal from within the um, blue sky firewall. So again, and, and it will obviously um, supply anything, any piece of infrastructure that, that, that's been deployed over the past 25, 30 years that has a GPS receiver in it. So again, it's using, that, using this technology to our advantage, bringing some of that ingenuity that the hackers and the bad guys have and putting that into, into our own networks. The last deployment model is as a monitoring tool only. So again, it can tell you through the management system um, if any GPS anomalies are seen or detected. Mm, and it's really you know the first smart step forward in, in, in looking at, and not just relying, going back to that old, you know, in 1975, when that ring binder contained all the specifications for GPS, you needed that whole macro system to generate the signal. Now you can do it with a Raspberry Pi and a software-defined radio. So the landscape has changed, the threat landscape has changed, and this, we believe, gives us a way, gives operators, not just telecom operators, but critical national infrastructure a way of um, detecting and being able to react and quantify any of these anomalies that, uh, that might appear. So cybersecurity is becoming like the new health and safety. 